Hey everyone, I hope you're doing good. Today is day 21 of the 30 day art challenge and the challenge is to do a painting inspired by your favorite worship song, praise song, poem or whatever and I have chosen You Say by Lauren Daigle, D-A-I-G-L-E. It's called You Say, and I absolutely love that song. And what it is, is it's saying that you say you will take care of me, God. And that's what I believe. So, here is my color scheme that I'm going to use for a pour. This is going to be a tree ring pour with the purples and blues, white. And I'm saving this for another portion of the painting, maybe. Don't hold me to it. I am going to do a tree ring, but I am going to put OGX coconut milk in it because I love it and I do want cells like crazy. I'm using Oetrol Easy Flow, which is water-based only. You do not want oil-based anything. Water-based, this is a two and a half liter. You can get it online from Amazon or you can get it from Oetrol's website. This is for, you know, people in the European area. And it's so comparable to Floetrol, to our American brand. I kind of think it's a little better. It's really good quality. It's very self-leveling. It dries kind of a slight sheen to it. I'm really, really pleased with the quality of Oetrol. And so... I'm using Arteza acrylic paints which only come in sets and this is a set of 60 and I've chosen colors from that set. I'm just checking to make sure I'm on, my mic is on and everything. I am going to use Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic because I need a lot more of that and there's only a little tube of the white in the whole set and I need way more white. so. I'm going to stick with my Artist Loft white. So I'm going to mix this real quick. Also in this cup right here, that is water. And that is 90% water and 10% Oetrol. So it's kind of like Gina DeLuca's little magic water mix where she puts Floetrol in her water. Same difference, I'm just using Oetrol instead of Floetrol. So 10% Oetrol, 90% water. So you add your Oetrol to the paint and on these I used a 2 to 1 ratio. Two parts Oetrol to one part paint because this paint really goes a long way. It's very vivid in color. It's very strong, creamy. So I like to add a little bit more Oetrol to it. So this is my white and I want it pretty fluid. So. I'm going to add a good amount of water. Like I said, I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas and push pins are on the bottom of it so it's not on the table laying flat. When you put push pins on, it keeps it off the table a little bit so you can get your fingers under it. I'm going to do a tree ring pour. But I am going to add silicone I'm not adding silicone, I'm adding coconut milk. Need to add a little more water. So while I'm mixing this, Violet Mauve Pale, Cerulean Blue, Sky Blue, Prussian Blue, Cobalt Blue, Mid green, mid yellow, orange red, and brilliant red. I'm not going to put any OGX in these colors here or in the purple, and one of the blues I'm not going to put uh, the OGX in. So let's just say. I won't put it in this blue. Yeah. So I'm going to keep these out. 
and put these aside because I'm not putting, I'm only putting the OGX in four of the colors because I promise it will give great sales. And I'm not putting it in the white either. So this is water that I'm just going to put aside. Got my white paint. Okay, with OGX coconut milk, it takes very, very little to give it cells. So I'm not going to do a full pump. I'm only going to do a drop. and those four colors and just a few stirs and I'm just going to even just mix it straight into the I'm not even changing sticks the colors are close enough to where it's not going to matter so I'm going to take a minute to get this cleared up Got my full pan with dried paint in it in case I need it for drips. And here's my 16 inch canvas, 16 by 20. I have this new little tool that I saw Nikki use and uh, it's a Wilton icing fondant spreading tool. It's on my Amazon link. So I'm going to put a coat of white on here first. And this just spreads it around nice and smooth. It's a really cool tool. It's kind of like my pool trowel. It's just um, smaller. So it's like a mini version. I have not done any swiping with it. I think I'd still prefer my other tools for swiping. So people ask, why do you use a heat gun or a torch? And the answer is to get rid of bubbles. Like there's bubbles in the paint on the surface, which you may not be able to see from the camera above, but there are bubbles. So what happens is that releases the bubbles, pops the bubbles. And then the other reason we use it is to bring out cells later. So that took care of that. There's one little one that didn't pop. So I'm just making sure it's nice and even. And my white is pretty wet. Let's see if I can scoot this aside just a little bit while I put my paint in the cup. So in the cup, I'm going to start with just a little bit of white. And I think I'm going to start with my lightest blue.
Now I'm going to put just a hint of white in. Then Okay. So here we go. And I'm not going to pour it in a circle in the middle tight. I want it kind of loose. Beautiful colors, beautiful colors. So because this has OGX in it, I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. Go ahead and pop the bubbles and I'm going to let it sit but apparently it's not like totally level. I am loving it. That's pretty. Okay. So I'm going to get my foil pan and bring it over here. I actually meant to put a little more white in between the layers and forgot about it, but then the colors might not have been as vivid. Okay. I 
I'm loving this. I guess I'm going to take it down a little further. Or maybe... Yeah, that's about where I want it. I had this idea that I was going to put a rainbow of colors over this as if this were the sky and God was promising with the rainbow but I absolutely cannot put anything over this it's just gorgeous gorgeous so the only thing that I really want to do is spread it out a little bit so I'm adding white on these corners here just a little bit This one is good over here. This one's a little, little low. So I'm going to see if I can blow. don't want to do much. I like the way the blue went into that. Okay, on this end, I'm not going to do the blowing. I'm going to use my skewer and see if I can just gently drag it out a little bit. If I can get, I need to get that white out of there, right there. So just incorporate that blue in a little bit. And stick a little bit more white on the end of here. I've got a cat meowing. 
I am in love with this. Oh, I'm in love with it. <laughs> so here you are down at my level. And I don't know if the colors are as vivid in the camera as they are in real life, but the blues are just phenomenal. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. Massive cells. People want to know why they don't get cells. then they haven't tried OGX but the key with OGX is not to put a ton in you just put tiny drops and it gives you these big juicy plump cells so the name of this painting for day 21 is going to be called You Say and it's based on God's promise to me this is just so beautiful That one looks like teeth right there. <laughs> I love it when you have little rows of cells. There's just there's just some really really cool stuff going on. There's some that are different cuz I blew them out on the edge. But this purple and turquoise together are just beautiful. So there it is, called You Say, and look up the song You Say by Lauren Daigle, D-A-I-G-L-E. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and check out all the links below my video where it says Show More, or if you're on your mobile device you hit the down arrow and it'll provide all the links for Amazon and PayPal and Patreon and my website and everything else. Thank you so much.